vastness of space. A dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust, drifting silently through the cosmos, began to collapse. This dramatic transformation was likely triggered by the shockwave of a nearby supernova, an exploding star that sent ripples through the universe. As the cloud collapsed, it spun into a swirling disk of material known as a solar nebula. At the heart of this nebula, gravity worked its magic, pulling more and more material inward. The pressure and heat at the core soared until hydrogen atoms fused into helium, unleashing a burst of energy. This powerful process marked the birth of our sun, a star that would dominate the solar system, amassing over 99% of its available matter. Beyond the sun's fiery embrace, the remaining material in the disk began to coalesce. Clumps of matter collided and merged, growing larger with each impact. Some of these clumps became massive enough for gravity to mold them into spheres, giving rise to planets, dwarf planets, and moons. Yet not all material found a home in these celestial bodies. The asteroid belt, for instance, is a collection of fragments from this early era that never quite formed a planet. Other remnants became asteroids, comets, meteoroids, and small, irregular moons. The arrangement of these bodies in our solar system is no coincidence. Close to the sun, where temperatures soared, only rocky materials could endure. Thus, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars emerged as terrestrial planets, small with solid surfaces. Farther out where it was cooler, materials we recognize as ice, liquid, or gas gathered. This is where the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn took shape, alongside the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Our solar system's formation is a story of cosmic forces and elemental interactions, shaping a diverse array of worlds from a simple cloud of dust and gas. It's a testament to the dynamic processes that govern our universe, inspiring curiosity